loves welcome back to face over matter it's Jay here and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to easily get finger waves without doing the curricular most now some of you might think this is the most but this is the easiest way I thought I could show you guys so first what I'm doing is I'm just going to straighten my hair just by brushing it basically I did it for no reason but anyway I'm just taking some foam some hair foam any hair foam honestly will do the trick I just like to do this one from like Dollar General I don't even know what kind of brand it is but usually I would use the olive oil brand but I just decided to use this one today because it's a little less oily like the other one gives you a lot of moisture but this one's just kind of basic this is the one I really like to use if I'm gonna flat on my hair but next after adding a thousand pumps to the head I'm just gonna take this itty bitty skinny comb any kind of comb you want to use will be fine but something with like a small or fine teeth in it the fine teeth if that makes sense um i feel like will work a little bit better so what i'm going to start doing is just combing all that through this product actually contains a lot of water so this is why this is why i'm kind of patting my head just to get rid of a lot of the water it's because now i'm going to go in with the eco styling gel this is my favorite hair gel by all times I just love it so I'm taking this bristle brush and I'm just gonna start running all of the gel through my hair I do add quite a lot and I do this because when I really want my finger waves to stay for you know maybe a couple days or so um, I do put a lot of gel in it so here if you see me combing and then you see like white stuff start to come up in the comb that's basically what it is all the products mixing together but here basically just the basic way I can explain this is just make S's like these S shapes all over your head until they look kind of uniform um, I've seen a lot of people do it many different ways but honestly this is the best way I can get it at home I've seen beauticians do all this other kind of trick but I really can't do it to my own head I feel like I would be able to do it to someone else's but for mine I just kind of make these S shapes and just kind of go with it um, if you want soft finger waves just stick with the foam but if you end up doing gel this will make your hair hard once it dries like crispy dry type of deal so just be on the lookout for that. I know a lot of times, usually I'll just do soft finger waves because I don't want my hair hard. But if I'm gonna keep my hair kind of molded, I will use the gel. But if I do wanna end up eventually flat ironing my hair, then I will just stick with the hair foam. But basically switching sides here, um, I just kind of brush it up and then start making the S shapes. I don't like to, I don't like it, I don't like the front hair basically kind of laying on my head. So I kind of comb it back and then start to make my S shapes all over the head. Um, I feel like the most difficult part is trying to do the back side of my head. I feel like doing the back side of my head is just a negative, which you'll see me here in a little bit trying my hardest to um, do the back side of my head. I don't even know if I did it right, but yeah. So just making these S shapes all over the head, um, I feel like it's super easy, super simple. But yeah, so whatever kind of technique you feel like that will work better for you, just go with that. But this is, you know, what works for me. So like I said, trying to do the back side of my head is the absolute struggle guys when i tell you it is a struggle it is the struggle on top of the struggle i'm so serious see it's kind of straight in the back anyway i don't even know if i got it right but just make those s shapes all over all right guys now switching over to an even easier way of doing finger waves i believe this one is a little bit more um, beginner friendly because it's not so much of doing the s shape all over the head it's basically just really keeping it simple like i'm serious super simple um so first what i'm gonna do is just kind of lay my hair down just brush it back basically i am going to keep that little bump up in the front just because that's my preference but you can definitely lay it down sweep it to the side whatever you want to do um so what i'm going to do is just start to lay down the front edges and everything else and then what i'm going to do is take my comb and i'm just going to start making these tiny s shapes so instead of doing the huge shebang all over the head doing the deep S shapes I'm just gonna do these little tiny S shapes it's almost kind of doing baby hairs but not really but um, basically just doing the front part of the head instead of doing the rest of the head so I hope this way is a lot more simple than the other way I do believe this was a little bit more simple but it still gives your slick hairstyle or pixie haircut or whatever you may have just a little bit of flavor instead of just being slick down to the head and for the left side of my head I just keep that simple too just making tiny little S shapes nothing too dramatic and that's it guys so I hope this was super helpful for you guys this is how I do it at home getting my finger waves because I just don't even bother going to a beautician for it but yeah guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't and God willing I will see you all in my next one bye